At Ducati, we create racing bikes and road bikes and unique experiences for our bikers. The Ducati teams participate in 19 races in 15 countries on five continents as part of the MotoGP championship around the globe. When you own a bike, uh, you are part of a new family, the Ducatisti. We have a DNA racing that we bring into every day's bike. You can be a racer or you can be someone that wants to go for an aperitif downtown in Bologna or San Francisco or Bangkok. Data is at the heart of Ducati digital strategy. In racing, we know how to analyze data. The experience is directly moved to our road bikes. In race bike and road bikes, we have physical sensors. Now, thanks to machine learning, artificial intelligence, we can bring those data together to create virtual sensors that give us information that were not available before. We were looking for a partner that truly understands the value and the power of data, and this happened to be NetApp. We want to leverage data in new ways to transform the sport of MotoGP racing and the road bike experience. NetApp help us control data to make experimentation quickly. The bike we race on Sunday is the bike we sell on Monday, and we can enhance the rider's sensation through data. I'm Pier Giorgio Grossi, and I'm data-driven. Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering NetApp Insight 2018. Brought to you by NetApp. Welcome back to theCUBE, our continuing coverage today from the Mandalay Bay of NetApp Insight 2018. I'm Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman, and we have a couple of guests joining us. If you're a motorsport fan, turn the volume up. First we have, welcoming back to theCUBE, Jean English, the SVP and CMO at NetApp. Great to have you oh, back, Jean. Thank you both, excited to be here. And we have Konstantin Kostetarov, CTO of Ducati Motor. Wow, Ducati. There is, by the way, I encourage you to go to the netapp.com website after the segment here. There's a very cool video about how Ducati is working with NetApp on the racing side. These bikes are like flying IoT devices, as well as the consumer side. So Gene, let's kick off things with you. This is sure. day one, record-breaking attendance for NetApp, 5,000 attendees. We were in the keynote this morning, standing room only. Um, Talk to us about NetApp as a data authority. What's some of the feedback that you're hearing from your wealth of partners and customers that are here this week? Absolutely, well, we're thrilled to have so many partners and customers and employees here with us. Record-breaking attendance, more customers and partners that have ever joined us before here at Insight. A data authority, people are asking us, what do I need to do to maximize the value of that data? You know, whether it's integrating the data, simplifying the data, they're trying to figure it out. And most of the time, it's in a hybrid world, it's in a multi-cloud world, and so we're just excited about where we are with our strategy, we're bringing it to life, more and more customers like Ducati every day are helping us to you know, see this vision come through, and we just can't wait to get started with everyone else. This is a really interesting example. NetApp has, in its 26 year history, a massive install base. Mm. Probably every industry, but when you look at something like Ducati, which probably every guy knows about, um, I have some motorsport experience myself, it's, a, it, it's much more of a, oh, I, as a consumer, as a fan of the sport. So, Constantine, tell us about Ducati's decision to work with NetApp, because you guys aim to not only utilize all of the data, tons of data coming off the two bikes every race weekend to improve performance, but you're also wanting to use that speed, which is the new scale as George Curian said this morning, to even improve the consumer experience. So talk to us about Ducati's partnership with NetApp. So we start to work with uh, NetApp two years ago, more than over. And uh, in this uh, in nowadays, uh, every every people around us uh, talk about uh, job thinking, uh, uh, extreme improvement, uh, extremely increase of um, of uh, customer experience. Uh, so in this uh, world, the Ducati is a very excited uh, challenge. 
And this challenge uh, calls us to respond with the best technology. The best technology that uh, um, help us to uh, collect the, the best information from our motorbikes, uh, from our racing teams, uh, that uh, we know how to collect the data, how to transform this data in usable information, and uh, how to generate uh, the opportunity to, to, to have uh, um, a virtual sensors that we can uh, um, transform in uh, um, in information, but also in uh, knowledge that uh, we hear b before, and uh, put all this information um, inside the, 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 our uh, fabric, and inside our uh, shop floor, inside our R&D department, in uh, in order to be able to. Uh, extremely increase the experience of our customers. I love that we get to work with one of the most innovative companies in the entire world in motorsports. And I think really from the inception of Ducati, you guys have been really focused on how do you keep innovating through technology? And we talk about transforming the world of racing with data. And how are we doing that together? So together with Ducati and NetApp, how do we help enable them to have the best motors in the whole world? We're really excited. Yeah, Gina, it, it's a great discussion. We, we've loved watching from just talking about the storage industry to mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about data That's and right. transformation. So uh, maybe explain to our audience that maybe not understand, you know, what, what's different about you know, the, the industry today and what's enabling this uh, NetApp to be able to work with companies like Ducati to help them through these transformations Absolutely. today that they might not have been able to do a few years ago. Well, I think there's just more and more data that we're finding every day. Um, whether it's Ducati or motorsports, if it happens to be in healthcare and thinking about the millions and billions of genome types of research that they're doing, um, we know even from banking as to how they're trying to connect the dots across an entire customer experience. Sure, they're using technology like storage, absolutely. They're thinking about compute. They're thinking more and more though about services and the cloud, APIs. How are they going to gain all this innovation through AI, analytics, but it's about making the customer experience better. Um, what I love about the partnership we have with Ducati is, it's not just about the bikes themselves, it's about the community that they have and that they're building. And that community is, yes, based on data from the bike, it's about the data come from the rider, and it's about the data they collect so they all become a stronger community as a whole. Yeah, Constantine, maybe explain a little bit more to our audience the role of data as Ducati sees it and how, how that drives innovation in your company. So, um, in, uh, in a world like a motorbike uh, racing team, uh, uh, where every millisecond counts, uh, and uh, the difference of uh, how we can collect in uh, very quickly mode the data and to transform the information uh, becomes uh, determ determinate the, if you win or, or not. Uh, because uh, as you know in Qatar we, we win uh, with uh, 20, 29 milliseconds uh, and this is uh, the, the, um, the, the work that we um, done days before analyzing data and set up the motorcycle in, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, the, in the best way. Um, because for us, uh, the, the collaboration with NetApp is not only storage and it's not only data, but it's, uh, uh, the, it's uh, the data management and uh, um, extremely short time to response of our business request and uh, and we have we we work we work to uh, transform the paradigm of time and money to paradigm of uh, data and information, and we talk about performance with our uh, line of business, uh, not from the technical uh, point of view, but the, um, from the extremely business oriented, customer oriented uh, uh, point of view, uh, and uh, we collect uh, the the. The data from the more than uh, 60 sensors from the ra racing uh, uh, motorbikes, uh, and uh, transform it with uh, intel um, artificial intelligence and uh, deep machine learning in uh, uh, virtual sensors that uh, give us information that we cannot reach from uh, the, the, the normal ro road bikes, and this uh, improve extremely our competitiveness and. Uh, 
we are, we are able to give this uh, um, uh, experience to, to our uh, riders that becomes our family because when we give uh, a good thing, a, a good uh, product to, to our uh, customers uh, um, and with attention of environment and behavior of, of, uh, of the riders, uh, we think that the, the good people in, the, in the, the good universe act in a good way. And we're happy to be part of that too. Before we get into the, the consumer side, so your riders, Andrea Davizioso, Dobby, and Jorge Lorenzo, how has their performance improved because you're able to take data gigs per you know, um, quality day, race day, analyze it in real time. How has their performance improved as a result of your NetApp partnership? As you know, uh, the motor, uh, the racing motorbike is, is not be uh, is not be able to set up in real time during the race, not like in Formula One. So we need uh, to uh, to use the best technology to connect the bikes to our mini data center inside the uh, inside the box uh, during the race, uh, make our strategy. Um, to set up the bike uh, as better as we, we can, uh, and uh, the speed um, with uh, which we can reach the data, collect the data, just uh, put it in the telemetry software, elaborate, uh, elaborate it, and uh, um, make the strategic de de decision is a uh, is a very very important. And with the HCI technology of NetApp, we can do it. How are you taking? the transformation that you're making in the racing side and applying it to the consumer side so that, as I think I heard in the video, Ducati wants to deliver the bike that a guy or gal rides on a Sunday okay. by Monday. That speed, speed is the new scale, as George Curry right. mentioned this morning. How, are, how is the consumer side of Ducati Motorsport being influenced positively to enable those consumers to have exactly what they want? If you see our uh, the new creation, the, the, the Opera, the Panigale V4, this is the uh, right example how we transform the racing motorbikes to the road bikes. So, and uh, we give uh, uh, to our customers uh, um, th this kind of, uh, um, of experience because all information we uh, manage during the Sunday, we are able to, to put it on Monday uh, uh, and sell the bike that have the, the same performance with the safety and uh, um, pleasure of, of riding for the final customers. And we have a DNA racing um, that we bring to everyday motorbike. So when you buy a, uh, a bike, we can, um, we, we give you experience that before you riding, during the riding, and after you riding, when you are at uh, your sofa at, at your home with uh, our uh, uplink connection, and we use the NetApp technology to give the best experience of connected bikes. So when you think about customers, especially our partnership with Ducati, in order to be customer-centric or rider-centric, you really have to be data-driven. And so as we think about what are all the connections and the dots of data that happen, whether it's on the bike, the rider, the community itself, how does that bike that's you know, driven or ridden on a Sunday, how is it then really performed and given to a customer that next day? Um, it's all about the data. I'm curious, Carlos, how have you been able to improve that speed of scale with NetApp HCI as part of your data-driven foundation? What's, what's kind of a before and after? Are you able to deliver bikes faster? Uh, have you transformed the customer experience like Gene was saying? So before NetApp, our production plan is uh, have, uh, uh, more difficult to, to, to be connected to all other uh, line of business. And in this, we we are not able to uh, to collect the information from our final uh, users, from our for our uh, customers, and uh, give this information to uh, our R and D department or the shop floor in order to be able to transform in real time our production process and to give the best um, 
the, the best experience uh, for everyday bikers. So significant business impact. Exactly, and with our connected bike, this is, is uh, becomes uh, reality. Yeah, Jean, just want to bring it back to NetApp for a minute here. You, you've been on board for about two years. George Curian talked about the transformation yes. that NetApp was uh, is, is going through itself. Can you speak a little bit to the just the, the culture? You know, I, I think back for years, NetApp has been known for one of the top places to work. Uh, it, it, it's talking about that transformation. What, what can you say about what's happening inside NetApp? Sure, so I think the transformation has gone through a couple of different cycles. I mean, one was really around the operational efficiency we needed to be as a company to really be focused on what were the customers caring about? What were the technologies and innovations that we needed to shift to that matter to the customer? Cloud being one of those, whether it was a private cloud or a public cloud. Um, we also started to think through, this is the right leadership that we needed to have in the company to start making those shifts. A big part of it is the culture though, and that culture is ground up, it definitely starts across the leadership team that we have today, but it's infused across all of NetApp. Um, it is one of the reasons why I joined the company. Uh, when I first started interviewing with George, he wanted me to come help him write the new story. But so much a part of the story of a company is the people themselves. And so if you think about any kind of transformation, it is definitely strategy, it's, it's technology, it's around what you do from processes, but culture and people are the biggest part of that. And we think of the brand inside of NetApp, the people are the biggest part of it. And who we are and what we stand for, um, really always leaning into the latest technology because it's what customers care about. If I think about the history over the last you know, 10, 15 years, what could have broken that app, moving from Linux to Windows, moving into virtualization, now with the cloud, we've always leaned in because we want to care about what the customer cares about, and that's every single person inside of NetApp that makes that happen. So we love, I love being at NetApp, and it's an exciting place to be. Cultural transformation is hard to do. It is. It's essential for IT transformation, digital transformation, security transformation. I'm curious, Gene, NetApp has such a big install base of a lot of enterprise incumbents that weren't born in digital, and of course you've got some amazing customers like Ducati. Talk to us about how your customers, you mentioned we, NetApp is good at leaning in, how do you leverage the, that voice of the customer to help sustain the cultural transformation that you need to really put cloud at the heart of your strategy? Absolutely. Well, even with the example of DreamWorks, so we just started working with DreamWorks as one of our partners to start co-engineering with them to help them on their own transformation. And so that's taking right from the customer. What are their requirements? How are they going to take this cutting edge digital content and then be able to make it into beautiful, engaging films that we all know and love? How to Train Your Dragon's coming out very soon, number three, we're excited about seeing it. Um, but those kind of partnerships really matter. And how people are leaning into the cloud, how they're leaning into hybrid cloud, multi-cloud. We want to hear what our customers need and work with them to be able to really build out that technology and innovation for the future. Constantine, last question for you. What are you, I know you had a session yesterday. Yeah. What are you excited to hear about from your partner NetApp at the event this week? I'm excited to, see, to, to, to hear that the, the people is a very, um, very put the, put attention of the details of what, uh, what um, the NetApp mean regarding the, the data management and uh, the data-driven company. What, uh, what, what is the, the real-time feedback to the customers uh, and uh, improvement of the customer experience. Uh, and uh, um, one of the things that I like is the simplicity to use the NetApp technology that give us the speed of reaction and uh, transform the information if, in, in knowledge and in, uh, um, how can I say, in um, experience to know how to do the things. Well, Constantine, Jean, thank you so much for stopping by and giving us a really cool, sexy example <laughs> of how NetApp is helping a company like Ducati really revolutionize the racing side and the consumer side of the businesses. And we want to encourage you to go to netapp.com, search Ducati, and you'll Thank find you. a very cool video on how these two companies are working together. For Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live all day from NetApp Insight 2018. Stu and I will be right back with our next guest.